Mike Pompeo says abortion is it a human right. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo made it very clear at the recent event that the Trump administration disagrees with the international push to make abortion a human right. He also stated that he tries to make decisions based on God's truth. Abortion isn't a human right, Pompeo declared during an appearance at the Family Leadership Summit in Lowa last week. It takes a life. He maintained that this administration appreciates and knows that our rights come from God, not government. America sets the tone for the rest of the world in this respect, and our administration has defended the rights of unborn like no other administration in history. Citing Psalms 139, you knit me together in my mother's womb. He stated, this is when life begins, full stop. Pompeo highlighted the administration's 100% pro-life foreign policy, including the reinstatement of the Mexico City policy, which ensures that not a single dime of American taxpayers' money will ever go to a foreign NGO that performs active abortions anywhere in the world. Trump's predecessor, former President Barack Obama, repelled the Mexico City policy upon succeeding pro-life President George W. Bush in 2009. This administration appreciates and knows that our rights come from God, not government. Can I get an amen to that? Yeah. And this brings me to my last point, my, my, the final thing that I want to share with you. Our ability to defend these rights abroad must begin with our own powerful example here at home. America sets the tone for the rest of the world in this respect. And our administration has defended the rights of unborn like no other administration in history. <laughs> Abortion, quite simply, isn't a human right. It takes a human life. You all, you all know this. The psalmist says in Psalm 139, you knit me together in my mother's womb. This is when life begins, full stop. So we've reinstated the Mexico City policy. So not a single dime of American taxpayer money will ever go to a foreign NGO that performs active abortions anywhere in the world. In in the fall of last year, in the fall of last year, Secretary Azar at Health and Human Services and I, we mobilized 20 countries to deliver a joint statement at the UN criticizing pro-abortion language in UN documents. This has not happened before. We said clearly, quote, that there is no international right to an abortion. It may seem simple to you, but in many parts of the world, this kind of language is verboten. And President Trump and our team made a consistent effort and a push to have this be recognized all across the world. You know, uh, it's the joy in the small things we sometimes find. After we released that statement, uh, one of our colleagues received an email from a friend in the pro-life movement in Africa. The note said, quote, never did I think that America would use its great power to speak for the protection of the unborn in the most unambiguous and unapologetic terms, end of quote. And while it is sad that it took so long for America to find her voice so powerfully, we have now done so. And we appreciate all of you who support our efforts every single day. I'll close with this thought-provoking question. Why is it that America is unrivaled in our commitment to freedom? I think I know an answer. Our founders built our country on a commitment to essential rights, unalienable rights, something I spoke about at length yesterday in Philadelphia. They come from these amazing documents, our Declaration of Independence and our Constitution. And our nation's foreign policy must be grounded in those central understanding. That's the commitment that's made us a shining star of liberty in the world. It's a dark place somewhere in this fallen world. But our house, our house of foreign policy is built on solid rock, on these bedrock principles that were made at our founding.
as a Secretary of State, upholding this legacy is an enormous privilege. It is no easy task, but I'm leaning on my faith each and every day to help me try to get it right. Your prayers, and I get wonderful notes from all across America, people who are praying for me in their circles, in their groups, in their Bible studies. Your prayers help sustain me. They help sustain me as I travel and as I represent the greatest nation on earth. And by God's grace, I'll continue to do this each and every day. May the Lord bless you. May God bless Iowa. And may God bless this great nation, the United States of America. Thank you all.